So I've had the Mastertronic up and running for about a week now. I took my time. It actually took me a full work day to really read thoroughly through the manual, fill the reagents, follow the instructions, updates, determine where I'm placing it, set it up. It's not straightforward, and I don't think it would be possible without using the instructions and going back and reading the instructions. And for such a complex machine, that is no surprise. I have done multiple tests multiple times. The tests that I have set up in my system are alkalinity, calcium, magnesium, phosphate, and nitrate. So far, all but my magnesium and calcium have been seemingly accurate and hold up to other tests that I have done. At the moment, I'm trying to solve the issue I have with calcium, where my readings are much higher than other tests have shown. I went on the Mastertronic, or I think it's just Focustronic, Facebook group and read through quite a number of reviews and questions. So the hypothesis of a couple users was that it had more to do with reagent number two from the calcium. The instructions that were given to shake it for 30 seconds before filling the vial may not be enough. What he did is shake this vigorously for a whole minute rather than 30 seconds. He would put 20 drops or so and then reshake it. And then he didn't take off the top. Like what I've done for all of these tests is I actually removed the little nipple here. Then poured the whole thing in and that fixed the issue for him. In the actual manual, there's a little section like what to do if your results are reading on the high end of normal. Because I saw so many different users with the same problem, I thought I would see if this indeed solves it. I have my old vial, it's like three quarters of the way full still, has the little magnetic stirrer inside. I'm gonna shake this for a minute, fill this vial with about 20 drops at a time, reshake it 20 drops at a time till I reach that full stage, and then I will retest and see what comes of it. So here is the result of my calcium test, and it's still getting 561. I'm going to manually test calcium against my result from the Mastertronic. So I've already rinsed out this vial with display tank water, and I'm adding five mils to the container here. I'm gonna shake this for a minute, just like I did with the Mastertronic. I'm gonna add 10 drops shake this after adding the first solution for 10 seconds. Now I'm going to be adding one drop at a time until the solution turns from pink to blue endpoint. 3, 21. I've actually reached 27 drops and it's still pink. The chart only goes to 26 at 520 parts per million of calcium. It seems like the Mastertronic is working correctly, at least according to this specific reagent. Interesting. I'm going to try doing the test again, this time using a stir. 5 mils of solution from the display tank, adding 10 drops of bottle number 1. Now I'm going to shake bottle number two for a minute. Now I'm going to start adding drop by drop of calcium bottle number two. 15, 27, 29, and it's purple. 30, and it's blue. Based off of the manual calcium test, I'm getting above 561. So uh, the Mastertronic is not crazy or wrong. Either I really have this level of calcium or this reagent is a problem. 
Now I'm going to test my aquarium water with the Calcium Pro. Expiration date May of 23. I've rinsed the bottle with aquarium water, adding the pill to it. Five mils, mix the first reagent, add five drops, shake that for 10 seconds, add one scoop of Reagent B. These are always interesting because they say essentially a flat scoop. So you never really know how accurate it is, but shake for 20 seconds this time. Meanwhile, I'm going to shake Reagent C for just a bit and draw up one mil. Now I'm just going to start adding the drops, starting to purple up here a bit. Now it's purple. Trying to decipher the colors with the eye is why we use things like the Mastertronic blue. See if it will remain blue. I feel comfortable with that. It looks like just one line below the 0.1s and color has changed. So 0 0.92460. Now I'm doing my third test kit manually, which is the Aquaforest test to see if I have an issue with the API calcium test kit. I've rinsed the bottle out with aquarium water, adding a pill. I'm going to be adding two milliliters of aquarium water, one scoop of reagent A, and they explicitly say not to mix it yet. And it fills 0.4 mils using reagent B. Add it and mix for 10 seconds. Now we're gonna add reagent C, which we're going to fill to one mil mark. Now we're supposed to add reagent C one drop at a time, starting to get darker, almost towards the purple. It's like starting to look like a blue. I'm gonna read it now, 0.15. Let's see what that equates to on here. So 0 0.15 is 425. Okay, so that's fairly consistent with Red Sea's Calcium Pro. This is going to be my final test, at which point I will come to a conclusion. I'm considering the fact that with the first two API kits that I used, I had already emptied them initially into the vials having taken off the nipple and even though I did pour them back into the original dispenser it's possible that the ratios had been messed up enough to where I need to try a completely new API kit and this time do it right from the beginning. So I purchased a third calcium test kit from API. The expiration is August of 24 and on the left here which is the old reagent this is actually a different batch. If the issue was that this batch for some reason is not working right then this should solve it. This time from the start what I did is shake this for a minute reagent A and B place 20 drops in at a time shake vigorously for a couple seconds between 20 drops. It actually took 20 minutes to add both of these doing that method just so I could really say whether it's an issue with the calcium test kit or not. I have the Mastertronic running right now and I will let you know what the results are. So just to give a quick summary, in this case I actually was really careful. It actually took me 20 minutes to mix and indeed it worked. And my reading now is 425 today, which is pretty close to both the Calcium Pro from Red Sea and the Aquaforest Calcium. So I am very excited that it is not an issue with the Mastertronic and the user error because that's good news for all of us. I hope this is helpful and please let me know if you have any questions about my process. Hopefully this will let those of you who have had issues be able to reproduce this. Thank you.